Hello, this is Matt Booslam and welcome to The Real Review. Today we're going to interview a great director. His name is Russell Rainey and his movie is Atlanta Takedown. Now, I love it when black filmmakers delve into the areas that Hollywood is so uh, stuck on. Now, he has some special effects and things like that, but what's great about it is when black filmers delve into the areas, they put their twist on it, and he has a great twist on it. Now, we're going to get into the film right after this. Yeah. It's, it's the, the real review. review. Keep it real. Yeah. It's the real review. We'll keep it real. Uh, it's the real yeah. review. We'll keep it real. Uh, it's the real review. We'll keep it real. For the black. We keep it real. For the black. It's black. It's black. Yeah, what, 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 what was your thinking to even go into a film like this? Right. Well, I guess uh, to be specific on the identity of it is uh, a television pilot, basically. But um, yeah, so um, I drew inspiration from a lot of action films, such as um, you know, Bad Boys 2, um, also TV shows such as 24, 24 Legacy, that kind of thing. And, um, right. So. Before I direct anything, I just really like to, I guess, you know, they call it method, you know, actors, they have a method called, um, you know, method acting, where they just kind of go in the zone. Right. So uh, I watch nothing but action movies just really kind of go into the zone, you know, when I was writing it and everything. And, uh, you know, to capture a lot of the, you know, the type of hype that you'll see in a, in a Hollywood action film. So. Oh, okay. I see. I'll see. Okay. So this is a, this is a, a episode, a TV episode pilot. Yeah, this is a, a oh, okay. television. So, 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 uh, is it, do you have the first season or what? What stage are you at? Actually, the uh, the creator uh, Toby Fomasupi, he's like in the process of uh, pitching, you know, basically looking to get investment to um, make more episodes of, of the series. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Um, so, uh, so, 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 how did you choose your actors? How did you okay. choose a lead actor? Because he was he was really interesting. I like that you have um, a black, you know, a strong black man as lead in you know in the film because that's something that's so needed and it's something that's so scarce in movies now. Like, why did you choose him? Mm -hmm. Well, um, basically, um, well, um, his acting was up. Uh, it's just. It just really fit the role, of, you know, of the character. You know, just um, you know, he's kind of like a big guy too. Um, you know, just someone that represents, you know, someone, you know, big, strong, able to protect that woman, uh, you know, like that. So, um, so really, just his performance, and um, I would say I thought his appearance was um, appropriate for the character at the time. Oh, okay, I see. And uh, and uh, you know, I like the special effects. Um, uh, you, like you said, you were influenced by Bad Boys, and like I can, I can definitely see that. That's really good. Um, did how did did you do the effects, or you have like a team working with you, or how did you? Uh... Uh, an editor, basically. His name is um, uh, Jahim, but basically, you know, he he did uh, you know the effects so along that on that line. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So, um, you know, with the filmmaking, you know, we all have a start somewhere, you know, sometimes we, you know, I used to carry a, I used to carry a camera around with me when I was little, a, a camera that didn't even work. And I used to do whole films, you know, just like my imagination, you know, little kid, right? Um, what, what, what got you into filmmaking? Um, honestly, um, the film Jurassic Park, you know, uh, I uh, Jurassic Park, Steven Spielberg. Oh, okay, um, yeah. I saw that film when I was a kid, let me see, back in 1993 when it first came out in theaters. And during the early 90s, you know, I had never seen visual effects on that level before. That was like brand new back then in the 90s. Because, right, you know, right. You know, that stop motion, you know, animation, that kind of, you know, animatronics. And, uh, and when I saw that, it just, um, I remember asking my mother, you know, it's like, mom, you told me the dinosaurs were extinct. So, you know, how are they able to, you know, chase after the people and everything? You know? Right, right. <laughs> so my mom said the director did it. So I'm like, wow, you know, if a director can bring dinosaurs back from the dead, that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> how, how old were you yeah, then? I was um, uh, around eight. Yeah. Oh, oh eight. yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, you know, and I just started made, making uh, movies with uh, my friends on the weekend, you know, on my uh, VHS camera. I just used my dad's VHS camera and stuff like that. So, right. but it was definitely spark, you know, it just really made me get serious about filmmaking and really want to pursue it as a profession. Oh, okay. So, so uh, 
from then, from eight years old to now, um, matter of fact, what what was your, do you remember what your first project was? My first project, um, let's see, uh, I, w- I wanna go, I guess, with my student films. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, it was science fiction. Uh, it was called The Glitch. Um, it was about a, you know, you know, it was African American, um, you know, cast, um, a female android about a guy, you know, he buys this, you know, female android, you know, she's like, you know, kind of oh, big, yeah. big, you know, that kind of thing, you know, because he likes that. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and he tells her that, you know, your sole purpose in life is to basically, you know, do what I tell you to do, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, she, uh, you know, of course, she eventually kind of wakes up, you know, develops, uh, you know, a sense of, I guess you could say, consciousness. And, um, you know, she ends up escaping from the guy, you know, it was kind of like a, a form of slavery he was trying to put her in, basically, but she didn't, you know, she didn't want to take that. So, but uh, that was called The Glitch. Um, that was a student film. Oh, that sounds pretty good. That's a pretty good plot. Um, you know, you wrote that? Yes, I uh, wrote and directed. Oh, okay. So, so you're a writer as well? Yes, a uh, writer, director, um, executive producer. Oh, okay. That's great. Um, have you ever uh, dabbled into acting or that's not your thing? No, no. I prefer, you know, to let people like yourself, you know, do the acting, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, like myself, right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm an actor. You know, it's funny because I, I made a movie, this one here, called Time Glitch. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's not as complex as uh, your movie, you know, but it's a sci-fi movie, you know. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So, so uh, be- between the time that you started and now, um, you know, how many, like, e- even if it's nothing that came out or anything, like, you, did you just continually all the way through or did you stop at times and start or, you know, how did, how, how was your journey to where you are now? Okay, uh, that's a good question. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, honestly, I would say, um, when I got in my, um, you know, like 20s, my early 20s, I, I kind of, I guess, fell off, uh, you know, filmmaking a little bit, you know, start working in my desk business and everything like that. And, um, you know, it just didn't make me happy, you know, just a few years pass and um, I just wanted to get back to what made me happy, which was filmmaking. So, right. um, you know, uh, so then I told my dad, you know, I want to go to film school and, um, you know, he supported me. So I'm very happy about that. So, you know, and from, you know, then on, let me see, that was back in, uh, I would say 2009. You know, that's when I really got, you know, like really serious and pursued, you know, went to film school and everything like that. Right, right. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, th- there was a little lapse there, you know, I was, you know, in clubs, partying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh, 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 what film school did you go to? Uh, AIU, it's in, uh, the American Intercontinental University uh, in Atlanta. Oh, in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, you, you're in Atlanta. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, so have you seen top? Oh, what, oh, oh, what, what was that? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> ATL. Um, have you seen Tyler Perry's, uh, studio? I've been hearing so much about it. Yeah. Uh, no, but I plan on going there. It's just with the, you know, the pandemic and everything, but, uh, oh, I yeah. definitely, Definitely, I'm, I'm going there, yeah. Because he's, you know, open tours and everything. So he's definitely somebody I want to work with uh, the show. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, yeah, I've seen it. So, like, uh, what like, what do you, uh, what's your plan for the, you know, what are your plans for your for your show? You know, for Atlanta Takedown, like, what do you want? Like, wh- where do you see it going? Or, you know, what are your plans for it? Okay. Um, well, that would, uh, you know, of course, be up to the, you know, the, you know, the creator, you know, and the producer, that kind of thing. But, you know, his vision is for it to be, a, you know, um, a major television series, you know, to be on Netflix, that kind of thing. That's what he's kind of really pitching it for. Okay. But uh, yeah, yeah. So he, he wants it to be, you know, up there with the, you know, the big boys, that kind of thing. So, you know, but, you know, but he hired me to, you know, write, direct. And of course, you know, my idea to add that kind of look uh, to it, you know, the black and white look, because um me personally, as a filmmaker, you know, I have to stay true to myself as an artist. And um, I grew up watching a lot of classical films, you know, turn of classic movies when I was a kid. So right. um, a lot of that, you know. So I love, you know, just 1960s and 1930s and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to kind of, I thought that look, I put that look on it to really kind of complement it. So 
you know. So that's why it's, you know, it's called the director's cut. It's just, you know, kind of my interpretation of uh, the episode. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. All right. So um, you you were saying like from that period of time, like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. are, any, are there any movies in particular that you were like thinking about during that period of time or? Okay. Um, I could, let me see. Let me see. Casablanca. Mm, oh. Millennium. Let me see. I'm sorry. The Maltese Falcon, you know. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just that. that. Yeah. Humphrey you know what's, what's that uh humphrey bogart humphrey bogart uh you know he's he's you know he's just one of the the stars of the you know 1930s and stuff like that but yeah. uh, you know I, you know uh film noir is what it's called oh okay i see i see so uh the the lead character you know the the, the guy that you uh picked um is he um could you tell me a little bit about his character Okay, so basically his name is uh, Morgan, and he works for a, uh, a secret agency. They specialize in taking down, you know, terrorists and terrorist cells in Atlanta. So, um, oh, okay, kind of, kind of like uh, you know, like MIB, how they're just kind of like you know, secret that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, right. basically works for a secret. So, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. So, do they okay. end? Does he? Do they? It, like in the series, is it like a thing where they kill a lot of people or are there any alien involvements or is it like strictly like reality kind of based, like people or? Yeah, people. Yeah, you're just, just terrorists, you know. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, primarily terrorists. Oh, okay. Do, do, do they like kill people on there or is it like kind of like? Yeah, they kill a lot of people. <laughs> oh, they kill a lot of people, okay. <laughs> All right, well, hey, you know, that has to happen. That just has to happen, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the trailer. Now, um, I know I asked you about the character, but, you know, if you could just give me a, give me a little bit of synopsis on the trailer, and then I'm going to show the trailer. Okay. Um, let's see. So Atlanta Takedown, um, it, it, it basically uh, revolves around a, a power couple who work for a um, secret agency that um, take down terrorists in Atlanta. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. You think we ought to call the squad on this one? Uh, no. We had a time. We won't have to handle this okay. one. was recruited by the state security service under the CIA to stop and eliminate the terrorist threats al-Jihad and its cell leader, Tajuddin Muhammad. After a foiled attempt to bomb the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., he takes it personal and brings the fight to Atlanta with the intention to retaliate against my family and the city I love. We will not allow this to happen. This is Atlanta Takedown. That's okay. That's great. That's a good trailer. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. So, you know, what we're going to wrap this up, um, but uh, we're it's time for the lightning round. Yes, it's the lightning round. The lightning round consists of seven questions, 30 seconds of total to answer, and no more than three seconds per question. Now, if you have all the rules, Let's play the lightning round! Back to you, Muslim! Alright, so you ready? Yeah. Alright. CD or streaming? CD. Facebook or Instagram? 
Facebook. DSLR or GoPro? Um, DSLR. Tour bus or Learjet? Tour bus. Spaghetti or Top Ramen? Spaghetti. Full length movie or short? Uh, full length movie. Okay, now this is the last question. Now for a, now you ha, you have to answer now for a once if you had a one night stand if you had to perform oral sex on one of these two women between Wanda Sykes and Whoopi Goldberg which one would it be? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you tell me why? I picture her in the, uh, was it Sister Act? You know? Oh yeah, you know what? Whoopi was fine as hell back in the day. I forgot all about her. <laughs> all right. All right, dude. Hey. That means we're That's it for the lightning round. We have a great director, Russell Raymond. <laughs> and that concludes the lightning round. Okay, um, they can go to uh, Russell Rainey on YouTube. That's R U S S E L L R A I N E Y, um, and also Russell Rainey on Facebook. And you know they can see all my work there. Okay, and I will definitely put the links in the description box. Uh, you know to your to your work to your your YouTube and your Facebook. Um, <laughs> So uh, this this show has ended, and we we're gonna we're looking forward to seeing a lot more from director director Russell Rainey, and I'm looking forward to the series. Um, I want you all to definitely subscribe, hit the like button, and share. You know the drill. So until next time, this is Malibu Slam, and this is the real review. And keep on working on that master plan. This is the real review. Keep it real. It's the real review. We keep it real. It's the real we do, we keep it real. It's the real we do, we keep it real. For the black, we keep it real. For the black.